Today is the feast day of St. Stanislaus, the Bishop of Krakow, who was martyred more than 900 years ago. He was the first native-born Polish saint and is the patron of Poland and Krakow. Holy Week reminds us about the challenge of keeping Christ present in our increasingly secular society. Joining us now is Dr. Chad Pecknold, Professor of Historical and Systematic Theology at the Catholic University of America. Thanks for being here today. Great to be here. As we're entering into Holy Week, it is so difficult sometimes for Christians to bear witness by using the symbols like mm -hmm. the crucifix mm -hmm. um, in a world where it is really pretty secular. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to do that. Well, you know, our faith is a public faith which has always spilled out into the public square. The reason why we remember martyrs both in the early church and today is because they usually die a public death. Christ died a public death. And we can't be afraid to bring our faith out into the public square, especially during Holy Week. Let's look at some numbers. Pew Research shows a declining population, Catholic population, from 2007 to 2014. The number of Catholics dropped from 54.3 million to 50.9 million. And as we become this more secular country, and as we're losing Catholics in the U.S., how do we keep Christ the focus of Easter? Well, we've lived a comfortable Christianity in America for so long. It's not That's surprising that, that so true. it's not surprising our numbers go down. You know, uh, if you have a lackadaisical approach to your faith because everything's comfortable, guess what? People aren't going to follow the faith. The faith actually makes demands on us. And I think, you know, one of the things that we can do is to not be a retreat people, not not a people who are kind of bunkered. Mm -hmm. uh, in our intentional communities, but who are moving out. We're a pilgrim people as Catholics. What I love on Good Friday is that so often you see processions, even here around the capital. That's and right. when I was in the Middle East this weekend in Iraq, the people, the, they are not able to be in their churches because they were bombed. Amazing. And yet they came to the church site anyway with their palms and waving yeah. them. I yeah. mean, it is just, we take things so for granted here. We do, and, and I think, you know, liturgy is our path through the world. It doesn't have to stay within the four walls. We can take the liturgy of, of this week. Uh, passion plays were developed out of bringing the, the readings from Good Friday out into the public square and performing them, and we can do that today again. What do you do for Easter with your kids? Well, of course, we, we observe the Holy Week, and uh, this Friday we'll spend Good Friday with the Dominicans at the Dominican House of Studies. Wait a minute. What about the Easter Bunny? And then on <laughs> Sunday, after Mass, we will do an Easter egg hunt. But inside the Easter eggs will be rosaries and crosses and scripture verses about the resurrection. Oh, that's such yeah. a great idea. So that they can find Christ, the risen Christ, and look and associate Easter can egg I hunts steal with that? that. You got it. All right. It's mine now. You got it. All right. Thank you, Dr. Chad Pecknold from the Catholic University of America. Thanks, Lauren.